Up until about six months ago, if you had told me that there was a way to get all the benefits of a 50 minute cardio session and the muscle size and strength increases of a high load leg workout in just five minutes total with less than one minute of actual effort, I would have immediately dismissed it as just another phony gimmick, no doubt using pseudoscience to try and dupe people into buying something. It might have even slapped your face to bring you back to reality, but I would have been dead wrong. My name is Michael Kamalu, creator of the Dr. Gaines brand, and in this video, I'm going to explain the incredible science behind the new Rehit protocol and how, when combined with the Carroll self-learning optimization algorithm and blood flow restriction technology, you can essentially trick your own body into behaving as if you have just run for 50 minutes and done a heavy leg workout. You'll come to understand why, outside of playing sports, this is now the only cardio that I do. Rehit was developed by exercise scientists who were trying to figure out how to get the greatest amount of exercise benefits in the shortest amount of time possible, and they nailed it. Now, I'm going to explain the science behind this protocol, and it may be a little bit dense or confusing at first, but bear with me, I promise it will make sense to you in the end. Rehit stands for Reduced Exertion High Intensity Interval Training, and is an extremely low volume exercise approach for improving cardiorespiratory fitness and reducing body fat and for building muscle if you use my approach to it. Basically, it improves your physical fitness to a degree that is completely disproportionate to the amount of exercise you've actually done, and it does so by implementing what are called super maximal power outputs. Typically, when you exercise, your body is converting oxygen into energy in what is called aerobic metabolism. That's why cardio is also called aerobic exercise, and that's also why when you start to get tired, you start breathing hard. <sighs> Your body is trying to pull more oxygen into your lungs and into your bloodstream to use as energy. However, a super maximal power output is when you are using more energy than your body can sustain using just oxygen, such as when you're sprinting as hard as you can. And that super maximal output, if done in a very specific way, can trigger some incredible adaptations in your body. But before diving into those specifics, I'll show you what a typical rehit session looks like. You'll start with a very low effort warm up for one to two minutes, and then go into an all out sprint for between 10 to 20 seconds. Then you move into a one to two minute recovery phase, which again is extremely low exertion with almost no resistance. After that, you do a second all out sprint for again between 10 to 20 seconds, and then finish with a cool down period between one to two minutes, which is again, very low effort. And then you're done. As an example, right now, my personal sessions consist of two 15 second sprints with about a 30 second warm up, one and a half minute recovery, and one minute cool down. So my entire session from start to end is only three and a half minutes with only 30 seconds of actual effort. 30 seconds, and it's insanely effective. How is that possible? Well, it all has to do with those two 15 second sprints. During them, I go all out, and I mean all out. And because the AI algorithm within the Carroll bike has learned exactly what my maximum power output is during every second of those sprints, it automatically creates an equivalent amount of resistance to ensure that I actually can operate at my highest capacity without me having to guess at it or pause to adjust it myself or even touch anything. Now, as we went over, since these sprints are super maximal, my body can't sustain the energy it needs using just oxygen, just aerobic metabolism. So instead, it triggers the release of my body's sugar stores, called glycogen, into my bloodstream so that they can be used for energy. And here is where the magic happens. The secret behind why this protocol is far more effective than it should be is that when you are really pushed to your utmost limit, sprinting as hard as you can, it triggers your body's flight or fight response. It thinks you must be running for your life, with a Nazgul on your tail maybe, so it releases all the glycogen it can, way more than you actually need, since after all, you're only going to be sprinting for 10 to 20 seconds, but your body doesn't know that. Studies have shown that under these circumstances, your body releases up to 100 times more glycogen than what the actual amount of exercise you did should call for. And trust me, if you are actually pushed to your highest capacity, you can actually feel that glycogen depletion. It's like you hit a massive energy wall. And that rapid depletion of glycogen is the key because it doesn't just give your body energy. It also triggers several hormone and signaling cascades telling your body that it needs to get fitter and stronger in case that Nazgul comes again and triggers several metabolic adaptations such as burning fat and improving your VO2 max, which is basically how efficiently your body uses oxygen and is the primary indicator that doctors use to determine your cardiorespiratory fitness. In fact, one study showed that a five minute rehit session is more than twice as effective at improving VO2 max as a 50 minute cardio session. Twice as effective 
with just 10% of the time commitment. And on top of that, other studies have shown that participants who use the Carol Rehip protocol significantly improve several other key health indicators, and all by more than the participants who do 10 times more volume of standard cardio. Finally, studies have also shown that a true Rehip session also triggers an enormous boost to your EPOC, or excess post-exercise oxygen consumption, which I went over in detail in a previous YouTube video comparing the fat loss benefits of weight training versus cardio, making it so that around 60% of your total calorie burn happens after you're done exercising, such as while you're sitting on the couch binging Netflix, which as I also explained in that video, normal cardio does not provide. With that, you're only burning calories while you're actually exercising. And I'll leave a link to that video in the video description below if you want more details. Now, you'll remember I said that you can also get the hypertrophic benefits of a high load leg workout in a five minute rehit session. So how is that possible? Well, that is where blood flow restriction technology comes in, also called occlusion training, which is another mind blowing development in exercise science. Now I'm going to publish an in-depth video on the incredible science behind BFR training, how it works and its benefits within the next few weeks. But for now, just understand that when you're using something like the Dr. Gaines BFR cuffs to restrict blood flow to a muscle, you can exercise that muscle with light weight and a low workout volume, but get the same muscle size and strength gains that you would with high load weightlifting. So if you're wearing BFR cuffs on your upper thighs during the rehit session, in addition to all the benefits we've already gone over, the resistance provided by the Carroll protocol will also be enough to trigger the same type of muscular adaptations that a heavyweight leg workout would. And that includes your calves, quads, hamstrings, and glutes. Again, much more on BFR in a video coming very soon. But in the meantime, if you want to start trying it out, I've just barely released the new Dr. Gaines BFR armbands on Amazon and my website if you're not on Amazon, which I'll link in the video description below. The Dr. Gaines professional grade inflatable cuffs you see me using in this video aren't quite available yet, but will be very soon, and once they are, I'll include a link for those below as well. In the meantime, you can pre-order them from my website, and again, the link for that is in the video description. So now you understand how the five minute rehit protocol that these researchers had developed works and how incredibly powerful it was. But there was a catch, and it was that researchers had developed the rehit protocol inside of a lab and true rehit was only possible inside of a lab, where they could precisely measure each person's actual maximum power output, VO2 max, and fatigue index, then create resistance that pushed participants to their personal maximum for every second of each sprint, and continue adjusting it as the individual improved and got stronger. So to take rehit out of the lab and make it available to everyone, Carol teamed up with the researchers and after 40 prototypes, launched the world's only home rehit exercise bike. As Dr. Niels Vollard, one of the leading scientists behind the rehit protocol said, Carol is the only bike that accurately replicates rehit outside of the labs. The scientific exercise cannot be done on a regular bike because it requires the super maximal resistance tailored to each person's physiology. Carol stands for cardiovascular optimization logic, and it employs self-learning algorithms embedded into the bike that adapts the resistance level according to your weight, power output, and fatigue index in every session as you get progressively fitter and stronger, making sure that you're really working at your personal maximum output for every second of those short sprints. And the way it works is extremely easy to use and time efficient. You simply jump on the bike and choose between one of 18 different built-in rehit sessions. Hit start and it'll take you right into the warm-up phase. And one of the things that I really like about it is that you do not actually have to wait until the end of the scheduled warm-up phase or recovery or cool-down phase. After the first 20 seconds or so, a race flag will appear on your screen, which indicates that you can start the sprint anytime you want simply by starting to pedal hard. Or if you wait until the end of the warm-up or recovery phase, the screen will turn red during the last three seconds, which tells you to start ramping up. As I said earlier, when you go, you really go, pushing as hard as you can, and the bike will apply variable resistance to match your maximum power output and fatigue index, which it learns and updates with each of your rides. After the first sprint, you'll be able to see your analytics, including exactly what your max power output was. For me, that's an immediate mental trigger that I have to beat that power output in the second sprint. And at the end, you can see all of your statistics for that ride and compare it to your previous rides and compare how well you're doing compared to others in your age and weight class, which adds an extra element of competitiveness. The bike also comes with a heart rate monitor, which you can wear in order to integrate your heart rate data into the analytics and algorithms as well. Now, we all know that you get what you pay for, right? So if there's a downside to this incredible technology, it's that it's more expensive than a normal home bike, and rightly so. The bike itself costs $2,600 with an optional 200 setup fee, and while the $15 a month membership is optional, you need it in order to 
access the AI optimization, which is why you would get the bike in the first place. However, the good news is that Carol has agreed to let me give my viewers a $200 discount, which isn't pocket cash, if purchased within the two months of this video being released. Simply use the link that I'll put in the video description below, along with the code Dr. Gaines, to get your discount. And even better, they'll offer you a 100-day home trial for the bike, so you can get it completely risk-free, try it out for more than three months, and if it's not for you, return it for a full refund. If that's not confidence in how much you'll love the bike, I don't know what is. If you can afford it, the Carol bike is unquestionably worth it. Being able to more than double the effectiveness of your cardio in a tenth of the time is really invaluable. Even if I only take the value of the time it saves me to get the results I want, the bike pays for itself in a matter of weeks. But more importantly than that, the true power of this bike lies in the fact that when you know you can get all of the benefits of cardio that you need in just five minutes and don't have to find the time and willpower to go run five miles in the snow or trudge for an hour on a treadmill, you actually do it. You're actually consistent in getting your exercise in. And the effect of that consistency on your overall health and happiness is absolutely priceless. And that is why I tell you, if you could only have one piece of exercise equipment in your house in order to optimize long-term health and fitness, this should be it, particularly if paired with BFR cuffs. Guys, if you liked this video and my explanation of the science behind the Rehip protocol, please let me know by hitting that like button, letting me know your thoughts or questions in the comment section below, and sharing it with a friend. And if you haven't yet, be sure to subscribe to Fitness Tip Friday, my extremely popular and completely free weekly newsletter that is always short, science-based, and significant, giving you an immediately actionable fitness tip, along with inspirational quotes and exclusive deals, and you can join the newsletter via link I'll leave in the video description below. And be sure you're subscribed to this channel and have those new video notifications turned on because I have an incredible lineup of videos coming over the next few months that you are not going to want to miss, including that in-depth analysis of the science behind BFR training that will answer all of your questions on the topic and no doubt have you running to get your own pair of bands as soon as you can, like I did. Mahalo, my friends. Until next time.